it going everyone how is everyone going on this late sunday night i know i'm late i know i'm late but with tonight we've got three bumper looking books we've got three bumper sized issues of few the phantom and we're going to be starting to review them right now we've got our music tonight's music is as you would think christmas inspired it's christmas coffee shop music and it's relaxing christmas jazz music as well so how could you get any better than that good old christmas jazz music they'll be playing in the background i hope everyone is having a stellar late sunday if you are in australia and any other countries if if any other countries that you win, I hope you're having a great day. And let's get into some comic books. Yours. So, to, the first comic book that we're going to be having a look at is the one and only The Mark's Marvel. It also has a brand new sequel from the award-winning Phantom Artist, Phantom Rider, Paul Mason. Yes. And this today, when I was basically making the thumbnail that you are seeing on your screen before you come and watch this video and live stream as I'm doing it, I was making this, the thumb, t tonight's thumbnail, and obviously I used his picture, but when I posted it to Instagram, and I usually do, but when I posted it to Instagram, he, sh Paul Mason, the guy who's doing the sequel that we're going to be having a look at, he shared it. He shared the he shared the thumbnail and it had his cover on it so that was pretty damn cool that was awesome that he did that so if you're hearing this on the live replay paul mason thank you for sharing my thumbnail it was one of the things that made my day basically and thank you and the good old getting pumped up fighting Boxing music in the background. Ah, oh, this is good stuff. It was, it was excellent. Yeah, it was excellent. And this cover, now this cover, when I first got this cover and this book, that we're going to be having a look at it was it is just amazing i love this cover i know I, th I think i was talking to a couple of people who didn't necessarily like the cover or the picture that was chosen for the cover but hey it's the opinion and what can i say i love this book i love what's in it and we're going to have a look at it right now so stay tuned and good old Ivan Peterson with that coloring oh yes his coloring is so damn good right now and it's gonna get better and he's already getting better with each coloring or image that he's doing and we already know that right now Phantom fans already know that and as you may have seen, if you're a Phantom fan and you've been keeping up with your Phantom news, Ivan Peterson did artworks and did the colouring for one of the latest issues of Regal Pub from the late one of the latest issues from Regal Publishers. And I haven't got that comic just here right now, and I think I'm just waiting it for it to come on a few publications website i think it may it might come up on maybe next year early next year 
I reckon so, uh, because we've got, what, Christmas coming up in the last, next two weeks. Uh, sorry for this, but the year is coming to an end in the, last, in the next two and a half weeks. So, yeah, it's a possibility that a few publications are probably going to look to try and get the latest Regal and Shakti comics up on their website pretty soon. I, I think that might come into the new year, I reckon. But we'll see how we go, eh? This story, oh yes. So the Marks Marvel in is the thirty third. Is the thirty third Phantom Daily story by Lee Falcon drawn by Wilson McCoy. It first pub. It was first published in no November the first, nineteen forty eight to February the nineteenth, nineteen forty nine, which would make it. If few publications were starting their conquest of publishing the Phantom pretty recently and starting their basically starting their big issues on the Phantom in 1948, it would make it so that this story that was running in the newspapers at that present time and at that present moment, it would make it that this would have been getting made or in the papers when few publications new books were coming out because few publications i think they started publishing in set somewhere in september of 1948 and look where we got here look what we've got now it is just amazing what they're doing right now Another amazing story, yes, I, I read this twice. I read it initially a few months ago, and then I was thinking, well, hang on a sec, I haven't really read this story for a few months. I might need to retract my steps here. So I read it again. It's still a great story. It's still a great story after, what, nearly 72-odd years, 74-odd years, and it's still a great story. The colouring, as I said great the phantom or the ghost who walks or mr walker is having this discussion between him and a former a you would say a up on the rising boxing star of the 1948 comic and this guy he's a champion he's he's won boxing titles and he's trying to get through into the top ranks and what does the Phantom do? Well, 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 I'm a milk drinker and I'm going to just slam my fist up on your face, in your chin, as to speak. So he does that. The Phantom then has a, has a little talk to the manager. He then says, this is one of the funny parts or more humorous parts of the Lee Falk stories. I'll read this. You, the manager says, you knocked out the champ. Who are you? Just a milk drinker. Advise your friend when it wakes up, when he wakes up to try milk. It's a great bodybuilder. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I try milk every morning. Great stuff. Always has been. That's why the phantom, that's why the phantom looks as young as he does. Young as he does. He then meets up with Diana again, and as we are knowing this, Diana has found out that her mother is ill and is needed, and her Diana is basically needed back over in the United States of America, and but they go to the airport, they find out that all the available spots to get on a plane isn't well, it, it, the plane ticket isn't available. There's no spots up for grabs. So, this big burly guy, the champion of Bartana, meets the Phantom again. And what does he do to the... What does the Phantom do to him again? Oh, yes. Sock punches him into the face, into the chin. And he's down. He's down like a... Kaku! The Phantom proposes an idea to take on his next matches, but for which he will be taking on his next matches, 
Diana will be then flown to the United States of America in the private plane that old mate was had suggested and was going to be flying in. So we now know how Diana is going to get to the United States of America. We now know that what the Phantom's going to do in this story. He's going to be into this boxing match. He His first competitor is, I think, Tiger Toma. And after that match, he wins that match. He goes to the next one. He finds out that a children's hospital, a poor children's hospital, has burnt down. And basically, around the main concept of this story is that the Phantom is basically going into these boxing matches. He's winning these boxing matches because he's just the Phantom and he's an athletic person and he's a beast. He's a person that will never get up, never give up. And he's like, he's doing all those things. He's going in the matches, he's destroying his competitors. And all his purse money, all his money that he's collecting from those matches is to rebuild this children's hospital. So every match he goes into, going and getting, every match he goes into, he's giving it back to charity, basically. And half of his manager's purse as well is also going into the, into the children's hospital, which is quite good, and it's still... One of those stories where the Phantom is still, I think, light-hearted and he's still able to achieve great things, even though Diana doesn't really want a part of him because he think she thinks that the Phantom's just has changed and he's just keeping all the money to himself. Well, no, he's actually giving that money to a charity and trying to build a children's hospital again which he does concede, he does succeed in doing that, and he comes up to his last opponent, which I think is Hercules, big Hercules, and he's going through one of the biggest matches he has ever been through, and after that, yes, you know what, what happens then, the Phantom wins, he wins that match, he goes to try and go and see Diana hears of what he's been doing in the papers and then goes to his manager and her, his manager says, says, I can't work out ladies these days. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can't work them out. Um, so then when the Phantom reaches the Skull Cave, he's all down and he's all down in the dumps until he reaches the skull throne and sees good old Diana, good old Diana Walker is there. He's, she says, hello darling, what took you so long? She parachuted. The man's got a horse. Give him a break. He's just won a, he's just won a title, a boxing title, and he's just became the world champion. So, yeah, what took you so long, the Phantom? What took you so long, Diana says? And then we get into the new crafted, oh yes, crafted sequel by Paul Mason. Paul Mason, and it's it's done, it's written by Paul Mason and it's drawn by Paul Mason, assistant edits by Amanda Backey, and it's edited by Glenn Ford. Oh yes, this is going to be the Feast of the Eyes. So, it opens like any... You, you know when you see those... Um, you know when you see those sports documentaries and they say, Oh, but this guy disappeared when he was at his peak and he won this certain competition. And you see them on those classic sporting shows. You always see it. You always see it like this. You always see an introduction, like they're, they're talking straight into the camera, they're talking about certain snippets from papers, from audio, from visual products, and they, then they bring in their amazing panels of experts to basically 
analyze what has happened in those fights and they talk for a little bit and then they get into the juicy stuff and how this phantom made a controversial controversial match into another ding 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 it's a win how does that happen well the manager here and this guy here has kidnapped the manager's son so then the phantom has to fight for his life and he wins and then the manager gets his gets basically gets his son back and the rough people they go to prison and basically the phantom wins the phantom takes on and the real yes the real well the real former Max Marvel comes in, saves the day, and what happens to him? Yes, he starts teaching young kids on how to actually box, how to do boxing, which is great. It's a great ending to this story, and good job, Paul Mason. Good job on this story, and good job on the artwork. Good job for Glenn Ford for editing this story, and good job for... Amanda Bucky for assistant edits and oh this was this book in particular is a face for the eyes then we have oh yes it doesn't stop just there it doesn't stop it is in in this corner the phantom and boxing Paul Mason talks about how boxing had an influence on the phantom's comic book strip and how Lee Falk was practically he loved his boxing and he put elements of boxing and how you can go from fighting in people fighting in rings and then showing empathy and giving a really good story to get it and back it all up with all the action that was happening in the story and one of the biggest quotes that I have seen in this story, I read all the article, it was amazing, it was very, very well researched, thank you Jermaine Parker, thank you, there's I think a couple people that have credited in this story, but I'll read this little thing out, this little quote, Lee Falk saw more in sport of boxing than the vast bulk of his fellow intellectuals, the teacher of the Phantom meets a young boy named Cecil. And this the story that they're talking about is the crybaby. It's one of my absolute all-time favourites of these stories. And it's absolute one of my all-time favourites of Lee Falk stories. And he talks about how a sensitive kid who is a product of persistent bullying and under pressure not wanting to upset his poor but hard-working mother. I hear you, Cecil. In a story that I can only chalk up to a more incident, innocent time, the Phantom rescues the boy from a tiger attack, then insists Cecil to pretend, pretends that the Phantom is his father and he spends his vacation weeks in the deep woods. It's a, it's a great story by Leif Falk. This story in its whole, and it's, this book in its whole, is a great production by Pew Publications, and there he is, him, himself. Good stuff. Good on you, Paul Mason. And as the Phantom would say, I'm having trouble deciding if you're a gangster or a pirate. So you can now get... The get in the ring at Madison Square Garden with a Fight Night poster. You can now get it for $25 plus postage. It is now available from few publications at www.phantomcomic.com.au or phone 02926181222. You can also get the new portfolio generations folio for... 13 pieces for only $95. I have these. I have all these prints in this big folio. It's... The quality is there. It's amazing. It's an amazing product. 
and I love it. I just love it. I have, I've only looked at it like a couple of times, but it's just amazing. It's amazing. It's an amazing product. So, and there was only, with the folios, there's only a hundred made. So once those hundred prints are made, no more is to be made. And it's just amazing thing that few publications and Dudley and Glenn Ford have done for the last, what, six years? Since they, oh, six or five years since they started in, I think, 2017 or 2016. Okay, now we have the Kit and the Pirates and Wolves in London Part 3. Amazing, amazing cover done by Alex Tripp. And on one of the episodes of The Enthusiast, which is a weekly show... Season 3 is coming next year, it's in coming in the new year next year, and I talked about this comic, and if you would like to know what I talked about with this comic, the link will be up in here, up here. Let's have a look at this beast. So the Phantom, he's on his way back from, I think, Europe, Europe. He's back, he, he is on board, he, on board is Kit, on the way home, after years of study abroad, I can hardly wait, I haven't seen mother and father in an, an e eternity, but the waters of Bengala were treacherous, and it would take a long time for Kit to re finally reunite with his parents, stay Ship on board! Ship on starboard now! Bow! Starboard bow! This story. The art for it has been done by Caesar Spadari, and the writer for it is the one and only Klaus Ray Murphy. Great story. The Phantom gets hooked up with pirates. What do you know? Good old pirates, good old phantom stories, good old stories and art in general. So the phantom or young kits to be, the young phantom to be is hung, is basically he's hanging around pirates. He's basically getting kidnapped and he's been, well, you would say, put to the test basically. And we find out that while he's been put to the test the phantom his father is getting very very worried that he hasn't seen his son for so long and he's getting so worried that he thinks he needs to do something about it so the phantom he goes on search for his son he finds and talks to the jungle patrol which i think has had something to do with redbeard redbeard Basically, I think with the Phantom and Redbeard, they basically made the Jungle Patrol a thing in the Phantom myths and chronological and, yeah, they made a, I think it was, wasn't it, it was the seventh Phantom, I'm pretty sure, the seventh or ninth Phantom and the Redbeard, which were former pirates, to be exact, and they basically founded the Jungle Patrol, and it's a great thing that was introduced by Lee Falk, and it's a great thing that happened, great thing, I think it was introduced by Lee Falk, I might be wrong there, so the kit, he's having a really rough time on this ship, he's putting in the hard yards, he's making a little bit of a grudge with a guy that has a scar on his face, what happens from there is that after that, he doesn't want to kill someone because obviously he's the phantom to be, so he doesn't want to kill no one. So he's in been put in the cage. He's been left in that cage to die. After that, he escapes from the cage. They land on an island. The phantom the ph phantom to be and his friend are also on the island and the pirates are on the island the phantom comes and rescues him and with a ship he bat the, the current phantom battles pirates and sends one over the cliff 
kit also helping and the pirates are then turned over to the jungle patrol great ending always a great ending when they turn someone over to the jungle patrol so we now have the wolves in london part three it's a story by andrew constant and art by jason paulos last time we found they would the phantom and this mysterious person from america were basically trying to find a way to try and cure this american citizen's wife or wife to be i think it was wife and they find out that that the man has this emblem and so they crack it in half and give one half of that emblem to the wife and then at the end of the story, she's she's basically she's shifting and changing between werewolf and human. And at the end of the story, he gives her the emulent, and the phantom goes after Jack. And then they disappear. Was it a myth? Was it a mystery? Did they even exist? In that story they did. The Phantom, the Ghost and the Monster 30, it is now available 34 for 34.95 plus postage. It's now available at a few publications and it's graphic novel number two. I still don't have the book. Hopefully I'll buy it soon. You can find it on www.phantomcomic.com.au And now we have the Phantom New Generations trading card set from the American, featuring the American Phantom artist Jeff Weigel comes a deluxe set of trading cards showing the Phantom in his costume at the time of that time and the Phantom... The character's history is on the back of the cards. It's based on Lee Falk and Egmont history. You can order that from www.phantomcomic.com.au. Just taking a moment to just look at this cover. It's amazing. And back cover. If you want to know what happened, why I talked about this cover, and why I talked about this book in an episode of The Enthusiast, you can... Go watch it up here if you want to. Great episode, by the way. Great show. If I should say my, say so myself. Okay, so we have the last book for tonight. It's The Island plus The Golden Queen Part 1. It's number issue number 1927. It's 36 pages long. And it has a beautiful, beautiful cover done by Jeremy MacPherson. Ah. I love it when he does his covers. I, if you have seen the 2023 range, product range of the Phantom, the Phantom Diary, the Phantom Calendar, and I think something else. If you have seen it, comment down below. It has this Legends art on it, and it's just beautiful. It is just beautiful. Okay, we have the story. One of those stories where Dudley doesn't do... Dudley doesn't actually do a publisher's note in this story. It is okay. I still like your publisher notes, Dudley. Very informative. So the island has been written by Klaus Murphy, and the artist is the legendary Kari Leppermann. Oh god, I love his art. It, it the story was first published by Egmont Scandinavia Phantom number no. twenty five in twenty five to twenty six of twenty twenty twenty, and it's called the Island. So we have this story where the Phantom is basically finding these crooks, and these crooks are basically holding animals to the brick where they basically they're doing a bit of poaching and the phantom as everyone knows 
doesn't like poaching, he doesn't like animals getting... He doesn't like cruelty, basically, and he doesn't like animals getting treated badly. So he, he arrives on this boat, he discovers these crooks and what they're doing, and then he basically destroys them, but, 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 when he's getting shot, when he's trying to get shot, actually, he is blinded by the force of the light that is coming out of the pistol. And when that happens, he is blinded. And they think, the crocs think, that hey, we've got him. He's dead. We're not going to see him anymore. No, but that's not the case. That is not the case. The tiger remains and he goes on to the island. The crooks do not know that the tiger is on there. And the crooks do not know that the phantom is also on their track. His, their tracks. As because he's blinded, he also, he also is on the island, which makes for a good story. The phantom takes the crooks for a little bit of a slip. He's he is then rescued by a husband's wife that lives on the island. We find out later that the guy who is the husband has a skull, a skull mark, which is very, well, it's not very that great for him because obviously the Phantom can't see, but still, he's got a skull mark, he's obviously done something wrong or caught something, he's obviously done something wrong or been caught up in something bad, and this guy, he's thinking, well, if I kill the Phantom, that means I'll be, I'll be basically in with the hood, in with the, in with the, in with the best buds of Morriston, of Morristown. And so the crooks try and find him, the phantom, then they think that, oh yep, yeah, there's a tiger in this island. The husband then agrees to go and find the crooks and lead them on a wild goose chase. He finds the crooks, he tells the story of how he got the skull mark. The, he leads the crooks to a cave, only where caves are, there is bats, and where caves are, where bats are, there is the phantom. He gets whacked over the head as they enter the skull, as they enter the cave, they get scared by some bats, and then they hit the jackpot, yes, they hit the phantom. The phantom is still a, a covering from. The phantom is still a covering from his blindness, his temporary blindness, and the husband then gets shot in I think near the collarbone area, and then the phantom he punches the living daylights out of the crook. The crook then brings in his next subject, and that is the wife to the husband. The wife escapes the capture or arms of the crook. The tiger comes into play. The phantom has a little battle with the tiger. The phantom wins. And then at the end of the story, the phantom gives the good mark ring, the good mark sign or symbol to the husband who had taken a bullet for him. Who had taken a bullet in that story. And then we have The Phantom, The Golden Queen, Episode 1 of 2, or Episode 1 of 3. It is done by Shane Foley. This story, I've just got to say this. I've got to stop. I've got to say this. This story, if you're out there, Shane Foley, and you're listening to the replay of this, or you get told that I interviewed or reviewed your story, Oh, I love this story. I liked this story from the get-go. It was a tight... There was action from all angles. Episode 2 was so damn good. It's, it gets back to those days where you'd be... Get, you'd be getting your Phantom comic. If you're a new person, you'll come in a Phantom. You, you get your Phantom comic from, like, a news agency. And if it had a Lee Fox story in it, and if you hadn't heard of heard of it yet well 
you got to read something or about a history. How's it going, CGR Burr? How's it going, mate? So the Phantom, he's called upon by a tribe, a tribe, and then we have the Golden People. That's good. How am I? Uh, I'm pretty good. I'm reading, I'm reviewing these comics, I am pretty damn good. I've been watching the cricket. What is this comic that you'll I'm looking at? It is issue number 1927. It's the island. It has a Jeremy McPherson cover. And the previous books I have had a look at was The Kitten and the Pirates, Wolves in London, Part 3. And And the Mark's Marvel sequel and original story in colour. I only, I only finished that like last week. Big issue. 60 pages it is. So yeah, I was, I was saying, we were talking about the Golden Queen, episode 1 of 3. Yeah, it, it is good, and also with the Marks Marvel, I was talking, I think, to Ivan Peterson a little while ago, probably a couple of months ago, and he was, I'm not, I don't think it was this, uh, it might have been this one, or it could have been the issue with the flame in it, but it was either one, and his colourings are so damn good, I'll say that again, but I think one of the things that he was talking about is that he tries to, I think, enhance the panel the like the panels when he's coloring it and so it's like more pleasing to the eye and you can actually see what's going on and yeah it was good chat with him he was a very interesting person he's very interesting person so we have the golden queen and the Phantom is visiting these tribes that are in the woods. Now, it's, uh, does it say what the tribe is called? It is from the tale of the Tenth Phantom, refuse to record. The tale of the Tenth Phantom, that he refused to record. No man, I, so the tribe is I Tongo or something. And he, the Itongo people, tribesmen people, are trained to, well, you would say, they don't know who this little golden person is, so they're trying to vanquish him, I would say. And then the Phantom steps into this ongoing threat. Phantom talks to the tribes, tribesmen. The Phantom goes with the golden people golden person the person leads him through like this big cave the phantom then has, is inside the golden palace the golden people's room or environment and hot steam is coming up through the cavities of the cave then the golden person or the warrior leads the phantom out into this big ancient civilization the phantom then meets when he doesn't actually he doesn't actually know he's mating a very important person but he meets the one and only the queen of the golden people and the golden palace I think, yeah i think this was a sequel from a 1950s story 1950s story i think it should say really and so the phantom meets this phantom meets lady 
Argenta The warrior leads him to a place, or you would say a palace, a royal palace, and he say the warrior says, "In here, the lady." No, the warrior says, "My lady, I have brought help. Stronger this is, stranger is this is Lady Argenta, sister of our priest Isaac. Like many of us, she is concerned." For her brother's mindset in the recent day, in the recent days, his madness. You mean? Good gracious, she's seen, she's at least eight feet tall. He now rules by force of arms, threats, and duress messages from the gods, rather than by the wisdom and the true faith. Does the majority believe him? Does he have the support of the people? Hard to say. Many who used to believe him now doubt him. If he weren't such a powerful warrior, more might challenge him, I think. But who are you that you? Who are you that you? I'm the door. Crash. And we leave it with... Damn, why didn't I expect something like this to happen? Fool of a novice, fool of a novice. Father, I'm so sorry I've let the side down already. You have seen our golden miss outsider. They impart either death, life, or death. Let us see what they decide for you. It will be continued, I think, in the next issue. And, and I think in the next community hangout. I hope you have been enjoying the last 40-odd minutes of me talking about some comics. And me talking about... Just talking about good old Phantom comics. And the back cover of Jeremy McPherson's book. And covers just as good as his front. Maybe the front is better than this one. The back. I hope you enjoyed tonight's community hangout. We will be having another look at some awesome Phantom comics tomorrow on Monday. And I've already got the thumbnail ready. It's going to be a cracker of a live stream. Hope it's I hope it's got as good comics as these. And if it doesn't, well, there's going to be a lot of entertainment. There's going to be a lot of things to be shown. And I hope you have if you if because it's coming up to Christmas and we're in the end of the year next not next week but the week after there will be two new videos coming out i think the 2022 edition of the best fiends and comics in my opinion will be coming out soon there will be a new interview that i did in i think september and it's coming out i think next week hopefully if i i've got to really get into that editing and that will possibly come in out next week and i think i'm going to try something new this year and i know sometimes new stuff doesn't really work on the channel but i think we're going to be having a top four best thing uh, top four best giant size phantom covers from 2022 it's going to be amazing it's going to be amazing end of the week and to the end of the year and as always keep phantom caving have a good day have a good night and have a good week and you will see me hopefully tomorrow with another community hangout where we will be looking at some more comic deliciousness and some more comic awesomeness right here on phantom cave reviews only at youtube and as always subscribe like share comment if you enjoyed these comics if you have any questions to do with these comics or what's inside of them 
you can drop me a comment and I'll try and answer it best as, as I can. And as always, keep feeding and caving, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow night on another Community Hangout.